Hello everyone, this is Vishal Bora. Today we have a great personality, uh, Mr. Ram Balaji, uh, who's the topper of GATE examination 2022. And today we will ask uh, the strategies and the preparation tips from uh, directly from uh, Ram Balaji. So uh, I would like to uh, thanks uh, to Ram Balaji to join this session. And my first question is that, uh, may I know uh, which rank did you secure in uh, GATE 2022 examination? So uh, I secured All India Ranking 1 wow. with a score of 78 out of 100. Amazing, amazing. And um, uh, may I know something about uh, your uh, engineering background, your uh, college name and your name and everything about uh, yourself? So as you said, I am Ram Balaji and uh, I come from Sirmugai Metapalam in Tamil Nadu and I did my B.Tech in Engineering Physics from IIT Madras. Okay, from IIT Madras. That's really good. Yeah. So is it your first attempt or second attempt in GATE examination? So this is my second attempt. Uh, first attempt I did it last year in 2021. Mm -hmm. In that I scored 57 out of 100 and uh, secured All India Ranking 139. Wow. So it's amazing. And uh, when uh, did you start preparing for GATE 22? So I started preparing seriously from July. Okay, seriously from July. But uh, <laughs> I started... So because I had already prepared for 2021. Okay, okay. So at the time you had all the idea about the preparation uh, uh -huh. tips and syllabus and all. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So uh, when did you decide that you want to attempt GATE exam as a serious career option? So, uh, since I come from engineering physics branch, mm -hmm. so I had very less opportunities in electronics. Uh, so, I couldn't secure an internship also like in my third year. Mm -hmm. So, that is when I consider, okay, I'll go for GATE so that I could pursue my M.Tech in electrical engineering. So, I get more opportunities. Hmm. Wow. So, may I know uh, why did you choose GATE over other career options uh, such as UPSC, SSC, CAT? And there are so many uh, career options, but you, uh, why did you choose uh, only GATE? So mostly I was interested in electronics, core electronics. So I thought GATE as a better uh, option than the other, uh, since UPSC is for civil services. And I, I wasn't aware of other exams like IES as well. Yeah. And also like I didn't want to clutter my mind with so many options. So I just gave my full focus to GATE. Hmm. Wow, that's really good. Okay, so uh, what um, uh, if I want to ask something about the GATE 22 paper, then uh, can you tell us and tell the all the audience about the GATE 22 ECE paper uh, difficulty levels? What was the difficulty level of the GATE paper? So for me, I felt the difficulty level was moderate. When compared to last year, this year there were MSQ questions, uh, where, whereas last year there were no MSQ questions. So uh, comparing that, this year it was a little more difficult than last year. Mm -hmm. So only people with sound knowledge and all concepts could be able to answer MSK questions. Okay. So, uh, okay. How many career options are there for ECE if they don't choose uh, a GATE as a serious career option? So engineering like provides lots of opportunities. Uh, mainly for if you take core electronics, mm -hmm. then uh, you can attempt exams like IES, Indian Engineering Services. And also uh, there is BAR, BSNL, ISRO. So these exams like provide you core opportunities. Mm -hmm. And for management, you can attempt CAT. And if you want to pursue civil services, then you can attempt UPSC. And also like there are exams like GRE and uh, TOEFL, which can be used to pursue higher studies abroad. Yeah. So uh, what you like, uh, would you like to suggest to uh, the students to take ECE branch in BTEC instead of any other branches? Uh, definitely, like, if you have an in inquisitive mind, like, uh, for me, from childhood, like, uh, whatever toy they give me, electronic gadgets and the thing, I used to, <laughs> like, put them apart and see what is there inside. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. So, it will not even last for one day or two. <laughs> so, that way, like, I have an inquisitive mind and also I like problem solving. So if you are also like into it and if you also want to contribute to the mm -hmm. semiconductor industry, which is like full of with in inventions and innovations, you can definitely choose CCS option. Wow. 
so uh, students should for uh, students should uh, follow their uh, interest actually yeah right right okay so uh, do you think making a career after btech is difficult for all those students who are not from iit or nit if uh, anybody is from any private college or any local college so mm -hmm. uh, you uh, like to suggest to them uh, i would say firstly like even if you are an iit and nit making a career is not easy only difference from other students is that you, you get more opportunities mm -hmm. so probability wise you if you have more opportunities of course you can make a career out of it easily so for other students like they have less opportunities but mm -hmm. even then when you have a will there will of course be a way so i believe in that policy wow great so did you take any online study material for your preparation or uh, uh, it's your own preparation without any study material and all uh, i did self preparation using available online resources okay. i also got a scholarship in a coaching institute so i used their things for uh, mock tests which was really very helpful that's really great so uh, why mock test series is important for gate preparation so learning wise you can uh, take up the concepts but you have to know to implement them right because gate is mostly focused on how you implement those concepts mm -hmm. so i feel mock test will give you a, a way to learn how to implement them learn from your mistakes mm -hmm. yeah i think that is one thing where you have to practice a lot right right so did you give your daily few hours for mock tests or you had your own schedule to attempt the test weekly or once in a 15 days whatever uh, so uh, what was your strategy to attempt all those tests uh, so uh, i used to learn some theory then i used to straight away jump into like solving questions so i can learn and learn and understand better so i would say like mock tests were essential part of my preparation so uh, you attempted uh, every week or uh, in 15 days or what i used to attempt like daily like solve questions daily daily wow so uh, i think uh, you invested your uh, around one or two hours maybe yeah on the daily mm, yeah that twice test right. test and and when did you started uh, attempting the full length tests full length tests i started attempting only in january in january so the last month of my preparation mm -hmm. wow which books you follow for gate preparation please share the name of some very important books uh, because you know uh, there are so many students who are not able to afford the fees of coachings and uh, because in ec mm -hmm. there are various coachings but the fees is used for uh, the gate preparation so can you suggest mm -hmm. some books so a student can uh, start preparation at home by those study materials so please share some important books name so there are many standard books for each subjects so mm -hmm. i will suggest you a few whichever i have used so mm -hmm. uh, starting with signals and systems i followed allen v open and signals and systems and discrete time signal processing by the same author mm -hmm. and uh, for digital electronics i used uh, digital design by morris mano and for analog electronics there are uh, electronics by razavi lectures available on youtube which is really very helpful there is also microelectronics book by cedra smith and uh, networks i used uh, engineering circuit analysis by william hayes and uh, de uh, devices uh, electronic devices i used semiconductor modeling devices and technology by amitava das gupta and nandita das gupta and the communication systems i uh, used uh, introduction to communication systems by mother that was really helpful and uh, control systems and uh, electromagnetic theory i mostly like surf the web to learn from various resources and uh, i practice lots lots of questions on it okay great and uh, what are some important topics that should be specially focused by the gate aspirants so i would say have them like to give more focus on the basic subjects like signals and systems network theory and digital electronics these will provide us them a base to go with the other subjects like analog electronics uh, even like uh, electronic devices many people find it difficult but i would say if you practice a lot then you can definitely get a hold of it wow that's really great idea uh what was your revision strategy because revision strategy is very important for any of the exam 
and a lot of students yeah. prepare every year for gate exam but uh, uh, very few people uh, got a good rank and you know uh, got psus and all because uh, very few people have a good strategy of revision a rev without revision anything uh, nothing is important you know so please share your revision strategy and your revision strategy will be uh, i know because you are all india rank 1 so your strategy will be very uh, something great and the student surely will take help from your strategies please share it so uh, these basic subjects like signals and system network theory and digital electronics i used to constantly like uh, one at least once in a week attempt uh, take mock tests so that was helpful in revising so even though i had notes for those subjects i never went through the entire notes from the beginning uh, instead i used to like attempt mock tests and see where i was missing the concepts and then i used to choose that specific concepts and revise them i think that was helpful both on the like if, like i i was able to uh, attempt the questions as well and same time like not spend much time on the revision as well wow. so that was really useful yeah what was your strategy for attempting questions in examination yeah that is really very important it's, it's very different because if you are able to att attempt um, 80 percent questions at home in mock test series but you are not mm -hmm. able to attempt all those uh, with, with all the speed in the examination so uh, what was your strategy in exam hall because it's a very different from home and exam hall both are very different so please mm -hmm. share. so first is the mindset like you should be in a calm mindset then mm -hmm. uh, i first started by attempting the aptitude questions mm -hmm. like those were usually like easy and interesting ones so mm -hmm. after you finish them you will feel confident you know mm -hmm. and then going into the technical session you can actually divide the questions into easy moderate difficult and time consuming so uh, as you go through the questions one by one like with lots of practice beforehand you will be able to figure out if this question is easy which which of the categories these fall into so if it is comes under easy and moderate then i would straight away solve them and then i'll check once before moving on to the next question if it is difficult and time consuming question then i would mark them for review and move on to the next questions and uh, attempting msq questions i would first go through them and if i feel if it is straight forward i would answer them and then i'll mark for review so that i could come back and check later and if i feel like it is somewhat time consuming then i would mark for review and jump to the next question wow. by this by doing this like i was able to complete the paper on time so guys follow the revision strategy then maybe you will be also a single digit ranker in gate 2023 like ram balaji so uh, ram balaji uh, my next question is uh, what was your daily timetable uh, from morning to uh, night what was your timetable okay. Yeah. So, uh, weekdays, I used to have classes as well, my college going mm -hmm. on. So, mm -hmm. I used to attend classes, then I used to uh, do the assignments if there are any. Mm -hmm. And in, a, in, in the free time, I used to prepare for gate. So, like, if if we say, like, there used to be four hours college classes, mm -hmm. uh, I would use another four to five hours for gate preparation. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, like, since it was COVID time, I used to be in home. So I had more time in hand since my parents used to take care of me. So, and also like uh, I used to eat on time and sleep on time. So I used to sleep at 10 a.m. Sorry, 10 p.m. Uh, as they say, right? Uh, like sleep is important for the brain to process and store the information, whatever you are consumed throughout the day. Mm. Yeah. And um, on the weekends, I also had an internship going on. So I used to devote some time to the internship and some time for the preparing for gate exam. Okay, internship of your BTEC, uh, right? Yeah, uh, I had a physics internship at, with NTU Singapore. Okay, wow. So it was an online internship, right? Yeah, it was online, gotcha. Okay, that's really good. As you said, uh, you started the preparation in the time of COVID and yeah, uh, yeah. the situation is going on from last uh, so three years, I think. So, uh, what was the benefit of uh, prepare, preparing for any of the exam at home? Actually, like I would say, the scenarios are same, only the environment is different. Yeah. Like, you have equal opportunities both sides and you also have equal distractions both ways. Okay. So, being at home, I would say, like, I wasn't so much distracted 
with all other things and uh, like if we are in hostel like we used to hang out with friends okay. spend some time out of room <laughs> so yeah. that wasn't there and uh, so that means we had more time for the preparation mm-hmm. and also like um, other uh, other thing is like uh, uh, the that division of time so you had recorded lectures from co- college classes as well so you could watch them any time of the day but if you are in college you have you have the specific time to attend you are right okay so any suggestion for gate ece 2023 and 2020 for uh, aspirants yeah definitely uh, so i would uh, say them to start with uh, focus on the basic st- subject so that they could be strong with the fundamentals and then move on to the other other areas and also like uh, i would say them practice a lot uh, attempt more mock tests so that you also uh, like you will be making mistakes but the point is like you you need to learn from the mistakes instead of losing confidence if you score less in the mock test so that it will be helpful during the actual gate exam you will not be making the mistake that time and also i would say um, um heat healthy and uh, also sleep well take care of your health because that is also important when you are preparing for a long time and uh, yeah and to add to it uh, on the exam day actually be with a calm mindset i would say that if you are with a relaxed mindset then you are already half way there mm you're right again all the best to all aspirants best of luck yeah uh, thanks a lot ram balaji uh, for giving us your valuable time and uh, it it's really an amazing session uh, and it will be very helpful for for all those aspirants who are preparing for gate ece 23 and 24 and once again uh, i would like to congratulate you for securing all india rank 1 which is uh, not an easy task it's really very big thing for everybody so congratulations and thank you for attending the session thank you